case you haven't noticed yet, there is a ton of stuff going on in the hit anime series Attack on Titan. Maybe you're like me and love to dissect every little thing in the series, or maybe you're just along for the ride. Either way, today we're going to go deep into the little tiny symbolism in Attack on Titan and breaking down a few of those messages from the story. Welcome back to the Anime Tea everyone, my name is Phoenix from Basements to Pomegranates. Today we're going to talk about six hidden symbols in Attack on Titan and what they mean. For this video, there's definitely going to be spoilers from season one through four. Number one is the purple flower. Now you may recognize the purple flower in episode one. Um, actually, it shows up a lot of times throughout the entire series, most notably in episode one when we see Aaron in the flower fields and he's remembering things. They also show up when he is protecting Mikasa and Armin from the cannon fire and he turns into a titan and then there's the flowers inside of him and Armin notes that it's interesting that the flowers are growing within him or within the skeletal structure of the Titan. They also show up when Aaron and Mikasa are in the field in season two, um, about to get eaten by Titans and the giant smiling Titan returns and Mikasa confesses to Aaron and all that. There's a ton of different reasons and meanings that it could possibly have. The first illusion that I found was that it, rep it represented rapid cell growth of the Titans. Since Titans basically form out of thin air, every time you turn into a Titan, the Cell growth also expanded to what was around him, um, including the flowers on the ground. But that doesn't explain the specific type of flowers they are. There's multiple ex there's multiple ideas of what the flower could be. I thought it was an iris at first. But there's multiple meanings. Some people say that the flower means like hardship, overcoming hardship. Also, love and caring for other people, as shown through Mikasa and Aaron's somewhat relationship. Also in terms of just it being a flower itself, the flowers could also represent how titans rely on sunlight rather than eating people to survive just like plants do. Um, so specifically this flower shows that they are, they are a symbol for the titans themselves and how they grow and how they sustain themselves. Also since they tend to show up around times when Aaron was turning into a titan and getting memories from other people and other titans through touch, uh, they also could represent the cycle of memories that titans have, such as the titan past that are seen in the sky. Most notably when Ymir is a human titan again and she becomes a titan shifter and she turns into a human, she sees the past that lead to the founding titan. I think those are all connected with the flower and the memories of the titans and their connection to it, one another and how people gain other pe other people's memories through the titans from past to future as we've seen. Number two is the pomegranate. The pomegranate only really shows up in one episode which is the episode where Mikasa finds out Eren is dead in season one and she kind of goes on this rampage where she's fighting the titans but she loses gas and she falls and she almost gives up on life. She almost dies because she feels like she has no reason to live because Aaron was her reason to live. Um, she looks at this pomegranate on the ground and she gets uh, inspired to keep fighting and that's when Aaron the Titan shows up. <clears throat> Pomegranates have lots of meaning in different cultures. Uh, most notably they are referenced for blood, death, and rebirth which is really which are huge themes in Attack on Titan itself. Rebirth which is not only symbolized, not only referenced in this specific scene where Eren was presumed dead and then comes back as a titan as rebirth, but also Mikasa being reborn as a human when she lost her family and almost died and Eren encouraging her and awakening her fighting instinct and she was reborn that way as well as giving her a new life uh, with his family. Number three is the basement, which is probably the most important symbol in, the, in all of Attack on Titan, um, at least for the first three seasons. Uh, because it is the main lead up for the entire series up until that last part in season three. <clears throat> it shows up in episode one when Aaron's dad, Grisha Yeager, says that he's going to show Aaron what's in the cellar, what's in the basement, if he behaves. Um, and of course, you know, they never get there until season three. It shows up throughout the series after that. It's, it's referenced. It's kind of forgotten from season one to to two. The meaning of basement has several things. Of course, it has the knowledge. It's, the, it's hidden knowledge. Um, things that they don't know about and being discovered throughout the series um, such as titans being people being turned into titans um, like we saw in season two when Connie's mom was turned into a titan and the possibility of other people being beyond the walls besides them and all things like that that gets confirmed and explained in the basement when they reach it in season three. It also represents hope something that since life beyond the walls is kind of feels hopeless especially after the titans attack and destroy everything the hope of finding out what is happening and how to escape their reality or their fate 
is in the basement, as well as hidden secrets, hidden things. I'm gonna talk about more about hidden things and walls, but before we do that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to The Anime Tea. There's new videos out every Saturday. Make sure to turn on that bell for notifications so you never miss a video. And let's move on to number four. Number four is Aaron plugging uh, the hole in Wall Maria, uh, which I like to deem as Atlas. It first shows up when we see the, in the first half of the season when Aaron first gets his powers and picks his, uses him to to plug Wall Maria um, with a giant boulder, and they're able to reclaim it using his powers. The meaning of Atlas mostly has to do with Greek mythology. There was a titan condemned to hold up all of the heavens, and then there's this one part where Aaron's like holding the uh, the boulder like over him, and he looks similar to Atlas that we've seen images of in Greek mythology. In this sense, this is a pretty common symbolic reference in a lot of in a lot of works. Aaron specifically in Attack on Titan is carrying the fate of the people behind the walls. Initially, in the first like few seasons, since we don't know what's going on, it seems like he's carrying the fate of all humanity because he's protecting them from the Titans coming in. But after we find out the fate of the walls, um, it's more clear that he's specifically carrying the fate of the people behind the walls. And also the fact that Alice is a Titan, um, and Titans are big in Greek mythology. The symbolism is like spot on. But also that the fact that the Titan was condemned to do it means that the weight of Aaron, like he, this is his fate and he probably isn't able to escape it. I mean, at the end of season three and in season four now, what's happening now, we see him like being concrete in the fact that he is the one who has to elicit change and he's the, the catalyst for it. And that there's no way that he can escape it. Especially, be, especially as punishment for LDS past and revitalize the people behind the walls and give them a chance to survive against the people who want to kill them. So number five is the walnut. The walnut shows up in, in the season two end credits. The song is Great Escape by Cinema Staff. And walnuts have multiple meanings in history and different cultures, mostly uh, that there is something pre precious hidden beneath a hardened exterior. And of course the hardened exterior of a walnut can be related to the walls, uh, the walls that they are behind as well as breaking free of the walls, breaking free of fate. And of course, through finding Aaron and learning the history of um, Titans and Grisha stealing the founding Titan and things like that, they're breaking fate. Um, so therefore breaking the walls. But it has, but throughout the entire ending sequence, the, wall, the walnut doesn't break. So we're not at the point, the breaking point yet. It's just the illusion of that it's going to break. Um, probably seen through how it's like rushing across the screen and like rolling down this hill or this wall that shows images from the manga of the characters and of uh, future things that are gonna happen. It also has the meaning of solving difficult problems, which kind of relates back to the basement and how um, the truth is hidden beneath something or within something that they have to get to. And it also talks about uncertain outcomes because when you're going to open a, a walnut, you're not sure if it is going to be good or bad. So the uncertain outcome kind of plays a part throughout the whole series as will it be, have a good ending? And number six and the final uh, symbolic message that we're going to talk about today from Attack on Titan is the geese or the birds. Um, I think they're geese specifically, but the birds that we see mostly in the first episode as well as in the most recent ep first episode of season four. And I think occasionally throughout but i thought that the geese were really important to bring up birds tend to be used to symbolize freedom which is probably the most obvious symbolism that we can find for the birds uh as we see in the first episode they're flying over the wall and the kid and it's like the, one of the first scenes we see before we see the colossal titan over the wall it's also represented in the in the emblem on the scout's clothes with the wings the wings of freedom and they are the ones who venture outside of the walls where no other part of the military or other people in the civilization are willing to do that. It just represents the ability to venture out as well as the place that humans can't reach but want to reach. It's like hope, hopefulness that there's something beyond what they can see. And since it was referenced in the first season and in season in season four, um, when Falco's on the battlefield looking up at the bird and telling it to get away because it's dangerous, I think that it's also a symbolism between the connection between possibly Aaron and Falco? I don't know. I haven't read the manga, so I don't know if this is a spoiler. That as well as Falco remembering flying through the walls and attacking Titans with gear. Um, so he takes on 
he gets some kind of titan. It could also be uh, him taking on Reiner's position as the armor titan. But we'll see. We haven't gone there yet. Yeah, but that is it. What symbolism have you noticed in Attack on Titan that I didn't mention today? Um, feel free to break it down in the comments below or, you know, feel free to embellish on what I talked about today in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!